क्वेश्चन सिक्स इज अ सिलेंडर ऑफ लेंथ 54 सेंटीमीटर इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स ऑफ इक्वल वॉल्यूम्स बाय अ फ्रिक्शनलेस एंड इंसुलेटिंग पिस्टन एंड हीच हाफ कंटेन्स एम ऑफ सेम गैस एट 127 डिग्री सेल्सियस इफ द टेंपरेचर ऑफ वन हाफ इज इंक्रीज्ड बाय 100 डिग्री सेल्सियस देन द डिस्टेंस बाय व्हिच द पिस्टन विल बी डिस्प्लेस्ड इज द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन pv is equal to nrt we can see that p is equal to nrt by v now the student is the piston would be displaced till the time the pressure on both sides of the piston becomes equal which means that nrt by v on one half would be equal to nrt by v on the second half let the piston be displaced by a distance x so therefore we can write down that nr into 500 divided by 27 plus x into a where a is the area of cross section and 500 is the final temperature in kelvin scale would be equal to nr into 400 divided by 27 minus x into a the students nr and nr get cancelled a gets cancelled with this and on solving this expression x turns out to be equal to 3 cm which means option number 1 is the correct answer now let us solve the question number 7 question 7 says the volume temperature graph for an ideal gas at constant pressure is a straight line passing through origin when temperature is yes students from pv is equal to nrt at constant pressure v is proportional to temperature and this graph is a straight line passing through origin we must remember that temperature here is in kelvin scale and that is the answer for this question as well therefore for question number 7 option number 4 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 8 question 8 says which among the following statements is incorrect so four statements have been given to us first statement is the value of gas constant r gives the work done by one mole of any gas when it is heated under the constant pressure through 1 kelvin we can prove the first statement using this this logic that the heat given if it is delta q then delta q would be equal to delta u plus delta w now in the case of constant pressure delta q would be cp delta t and delta u would be obviously cv delta t and this plus w so delta w would be equal to cp minus cv into delta t and this will be equal to r delta t so r would be equal to delta w by delta t so this is the work done per degree kelvin change for one mole of the gas so statement 1 is a correct statement and therefore cannot be our answer because we have to choose incorrect statement statement 2 says the value of gas constant r does not depend on the mass of the gas or its chemical formula this is also correct because r is the universal gas constant third says gas constant R is equal to K by N not where K is the Boltzmann constant. This is an incorrect statement, students, because Boltzmann constant is equal to R by N not. Therefore, option number three has to be the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the next question, which is question number nine. Question nine says the temperature of gas at which its mean square speed becomes double to that at 27 degree Celsius is. Dear students, 27 degree Celsius means 300 kelvin now the mean square speed is proportional to the temperature please note here that this is the mean square speed and not the root mean square speed so the when the temperature becomes double the mean square speed becomes double as well the double of 300 is 600 kelvin therefore the final temperature should be 600 kelvin which in degree celsius is 327 degree celsius and hence option number 2 is the correct answer dear students now let us solve question number 10 Question ten says the velocity position graph for a simple harmonic oscillator is. So four graphs have been given to us. Dear students, velocity for a simple harmonic motion is v is equal to omega under root a square minus x square. Omega is the angular frequency, a is the amplitude, and x is the displacement. From this expression, we can write down that v square divided by a omega square plus x square by a square is equal to one. This is an equation of ellipse. and hence option number 1 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 